Hey guys, it's Andy, and today I'm gonna to show you the BLK to go. Now the primary function of the BLK to go is very similar to a terrestrial scanner like the BLK360. If you aren't sure how the BLK360 works or laser scanning in general, I'd recommend checking out my first video where I explain a little bit more of the concepts of LiDAR scanning. Now because the blk to go is a mobile scanner, you don't need to set it up on a tripod for each scan and register all the scans together. Mobile scanners can scan as they move through 3D space. That means all you need to do is hold the blk to go out in front of you and walk through the entire space and you can capture the entire environment in 3D. If we take a closer look at the scanner itself, you can see that the entire scanning system and all of the moving parts are protected underneath the dome at the top of the device. The blk to go also has four cameras around the outside. Three of these cameras are constantly taking images as you move, and these images are used for tracking, creating panoramic images, and colorizing the point cloud. The fourth camera is on the front, and this is the detail camera. The detail camera is used for taking images of specific things that you need more detail of. Because the blk to go is a mobile scanner, it needs to track itself through 3D space. This is where SLAM comes into play. SLAM stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. This is a technical term for tracking something through 3D space. The blk to go actually uses three different methods of SLAM to be as accurate as possible. First off, it has an internal IMU, which stands for Inertial Measurement Unit. This calculates the movement of the blk to go by physically sensing motion. Secondly, it'll use those three cameras to track what it can physically see and calculate its own movement. This is called visual SLAM. And lastly, it'll use LiDAR SLAM, which is the process of finding stationary surfaces in the LiDAR data and using this to calculate the blk to gos movement. All three of these SLAM techniques allow the blk to go to track itself through the environment so you can scan while you walk without ever needing to stop. Now you can scan with the blk to go all by itself, but there is a blk to go live app that will allow you to see a live stream of the data that you're capturing. You can view the cloud in 2D or 3D, which is extremely valuable to make sure you don't have any areas with missing data. And of course, this app will let you monitor essential info like battery life and available storage space. The most obvious advantage to using a mobile scanner like the blk to go is the scanning process is much easier and it's a lot faster than using a terrestrial scanner. It also removes a lot of the manual post-processing work that's required by terrestrial scanners. The working range of the blk to go is 25 meters, which is about 80 feet. While you're scanning, you're able to scan about 45 minutes on a single battery before you need to swap it out. Uh, the internal storage space on the blk to go will hold about six hours of scanning. The blk to go scans at about 400,000 points per second. And it being a mobile scanner, uh, the density of your points is largely gonna depend on how fast you walk through an area. If you need more density and more detail, all you need to do is slow down and the scanner is gonna capture way more points in that particular area. So that was a quick overview of the blk to go If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.